Item Number SCP-495 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-495 is to be kept in a locked room, plugged into a standard, active 120V power outlet when not in use. A life-size mold of a clam, oyster, or other species of sessile bivalve is to be stored within SCP-495. The mold is to contain no more than 100 grams of wax. In the event of a power failure, at least one Level 1 security personnel must enter the storage room and monitor the item for activity until power is restored. Researchers wishing to use SCP-495 must submit a written description of the planned experiment to Dr. Due to the results of experiment SCP-495-, all molds and materials must be approved by at least one Level 3 or higher personnel before use with SCP-495. At least one personnel with experience treating venomous bites and stings must be available on standby while SCP-495 is in use. SCP-495 appears to be the oven from a 1992 Toy Max Creepy Crawlers playset. Saved that the Creepy Crawler logo sticker has been replaced with a logo from a 1964 Mattel Thingmaker hot plate, a toy of virtually identical function to the more recent Toy Max version, discontinued by Mattel in the 1970s due to the insufficient safety features. While SCP-495 is plugged into a standard 120V power outlet, it functions as a normal Creepy Crawler's oven. When not plugged into a power outlet, SCP-495 displays the following anomalous behavior. Upon insertion of a filled or partially filled mold, SCP-495's activation switch moves to the ON position automatically. The internal heating lamp appears to remain unlit, but the oven begins to gain warmth from an unknown source, reaching a peak internal temperature of 257.2 degrees Celsius, as measured by infrared camera. After approximately eight minutes, SCP-495's activation switch moves to the off position automatically. Contrary to the behavior of a standard Toy Max Creepy Crawler oven, SCP-495's door will open immediately instead of remaining locked while the mold cools. All molded items will animate upon removal from the oven, behaving as though they were natural organisms. Animated objects are physically detailed well beyond what their mold would seem to allow appearing physically identical to their natural counterparts, save for unusual coloration corresponding to the materials used to fill their molds. Dissection of animated objects reveals tissues and other internal structures composed entirely of whatever material was used to fill the mold. Any substance and mold used with SCP-495 will produce results. Handmade molds or substances other than Toy Max or Mattel plastic goop, such as chocolate or wax, will result in animate objects. Addendum. Just because they're made of plastic doesn't mean they're safe. Where the venom comes from, I don't know, but Agent is now in the infirmary after being bit by a tiny purple asp. Please treat the products of SCP-495 as you would any venomous animal. Doctor.